it's T with T quotes and I'm here to show you how to make hourglass blocks from strings. that I wanted to have an all pink quilt so I have been cutting up scraps I actually used an AccuQuilt multi strip size die to cut this it's actually a studio die and I'm not, I'm not sure if they have one for the go but I'll look I'll leave AccuQuilt's link down in the bottom I have been pulling out pieces so that I can make my blocks on a few occasions I have found where I have full strip sets and these are actually folded in half and so I have gone ahead and sewn some of those into two-piece strip sets now I don't know how large I'm going to make this quote I think I'm going to have about 20 blocks when I'm done <laughs> so I don't want to sew all the full strip sets together and make one large block because I don't want three identical blocks. So what I did was just sewed a couple of strip sets together. And then I'm going to cross cut this. I need to have strips that are 11 and 1 half inches long. Because I'm making my blocks square up at 11 inches and 1 quarter. And then in addition to the strip sets, I do have some pieces that I have cut a little bit larger. Or approximately about 11 and a half. And I do want blocks that are going to square up to 11 and 1 quarter. So anything larger than 11 and a quarter will be great. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and make a few blocks with these strip sets. And then I'll come back and show you the next step. So I'm back with three string blocks that I have sewn pieces for. And my next step is to square these up now to 11 and 1 quarter inches. So then after I square my blocks up to 11 and 1 quarter inches, I'm going to cut both ways diagonally from corner to corner. And now at this point, I have four pieces to my block. So I'm going to go ahead and square up the other two blocks and I'll be right back. the three blocks laid out on my cutting board and basically all I want to do is just swap pieces between blocks but when you replace the pieces you can actually come up with two different styles of blocks so for this piece I want to have my point my fabric points like this line coming into the center so technically if I remove the two top and bottom pieces I can keep this fabric because all of those fabrics are going to be different just because they're on opposite side of a straight string piece block. And now I want to come over and pull in other pieces. So if I do that one from here and then take this other one from over here, I could sew these two 
together but you will have the piece in the middle matching across from each other so if you have another block that you can substitute in would be great so from my first block that I cut earlier I'm just going to replace a piece and now you can see where all of my strings are going in and my small points are meeting in the middle so I think that's how I'm going to do one set of blocks and then the other set of blocks are going to have where my long pieces meet into the middle and so for this block we'll end up with something like this Now, for right now, I'm not going to sew this block together because I need another block, number four, or another block so I can cut a different section so it's not the same piece directly across from it. But I just wanted to lay out and show you the differences between the two blocks that you can make. And so I am going to go ahead and make some more string blocks. I need at least one more so I can substitute this piece out before I sew these two blocks together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back when I'm done. So I'm back and I have my blocks laid out here. This is my original two blocks right here that I laid out at first. I've already replaced this top piece with the fourth block that I made. And then over here you can't see all of it but I have block number three. And then block number four is actually on top of my ruler so I get two styles that looks like this and then two styles that look like that and even though they came from the same fabrics or the same four squares they look completely different as far as when you're looking at them so I will sew these blocks together and I'll come back I'm back and I have done some sewing so I can break down some of these steps for you so what we had to start with was four pieces from four different blocks and we want to sew these right sides together along the diagonal. So in order to do that you're going to flip one piece down, you're going to sew one quarter of an inch. You're going to flip the next piece down and you're again going to sew one quarter of an inch. And when you do that, you'll have two pieces that goes together like this. Now on the back of mine, I did go ahead and just press my seams open, but you don't have to do that. You could just press them to either side if you want. I just pressed the seams open. And then our final step for making the block would be to put these two right sides together. You do want to make sure that you match your center seams. I'll just put a pin in that to hold it prior to sewing. And then you'll end up with a block like this. So this is the final block where I have all of my seam lines kind of going around the square like a square in the square. And then this second block has the seam lines where they all are pointing in toward the center. So you have two different looks that you can do with the same block. So let's put them both up here together. So if you wanted to make a quilt where you just use these two blocks and alternate these two blocks you will get this secondary pattern right here happening in the middle and notice that none of the seam allowances will have to match either when you put them together so that's a pretty cool setting so I am done with this tutorial I just wanted to show you what you could do with straight string blocks other than just sewing straight string blocks together and so I will be working on this as a project so I'm not going to show you a completed project right now it's going to be a series of videos on me completing this quilt but this is the start of my pink string quilt so I will see you next time thank you for watching bye bye for now